stranger? Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeon Master did tell us to find that stupid bone of Shasta. Stone of Astra, Eric. Yeah, that. Presto, if you please. Thank you. Uh, I don't know, Eric. They sound awful mad. Here, hossy, hossy, hossy. Maybe they like bananas better. I gotta hand it to Eric. He just had another great idea. Say we stop running and fight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Too many, Bobby. Fighting will only make them mad. You mean madder? Uh -huh. Overgrown camels. Let's see what you got. Hey! We've got no time for heroics, Bobby. Come on. I'm never gonna find any food out here. Okay, okay. Maybe six loaves of bread is too much. Surely this talisman is worth five loaves. No, no. Even if my people could spare it. Five loaves is too many. Go, leave us. Go back to your people. We have no room for you here. Thanks a lot. And you can keep your old bread. Well, that's 
that's what I call rude. Listen, hotshot, next time be more careful who you're crashing into. Come on, Eric. He did save your life. What? Oh, he did, didn't he? Thanks. Don't mention it. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> so, Eric, who's your new friend? <laughs> friend? Friend? I don't see any friend. Are you kidding? You mean this guy has friends? <laughs> sure, us. Boy, you and that weapon sure showed up at the right time. Uh... Name's Lorne. That's easy to remember. Rhymes with corn. Listen, Lorne, what do you say you come along with us? Well, I... Hey, what do you say, guys? Is Lorne in? Sure. Yeah! yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. Whoopee! All right. Come on, let's find a campsite before nightfall. Huh? Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. It's nice to know somebody kept warm last night. Oh, morning. Thanks for the loan of the cape, fancy pants. Speaking of fancy, I'm simply dying to know the name of your tailor. Oh, yeah? Maybe you could sew your mouth shut if you ever get your foot out of it. Here we go again. I don't believe last night. Six straight hours of put-downs. Those guys ought to take their act on the road. <laughs> You'd think they were identical twins. You mean identical twits. Huh? Yeah, that's all we need. Two Eric's. Listen, Lorne, old buddy, I hate to tell you this, but if my parents even suspected I was like you, they'd disinherit both of us. I wouldn't know. I don't have any parents. Huh? Oh. Well, hey, I... I, I didn't know. Well, come on. We better get moving. We've got to find Dungeon Master's Stone of Astra. Stone of Astra? How are we supposed to find it anyway? Dungeon Master never even told us what it looks like. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat... I could eat... one of those. Now listen, I'll go flush the little watchet out of the bush, and when it runs out, you get it. Got it? Got it. Good. Aha! Oh-ho! Dungeon Master! What are you doing with our lunch? Oh, I, I mean, we, we were just taking a lunch break. What I mean is we really are working hard to find your... to find that, uh... Stone of Astra. Yeah, that. Oh, my. Calm yourself, Cavalier. You have already fulfilled the first part of your mission. Oh, yeah? Well, you can take your... We did? Yes, but soon the Stone of Astra will have to be destroyed and its chain of terror broken. Then, and only then, will one among you find home. I know of your despair, boy. But loneliness cannot be overcome by the use of this deadly and dangerous weapon. Your strength will be found in weakness. Destroy the talisman. What? No way! Forget it! We need it, Dungeon Master. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, with, with Lorne's weapon, we're, we're invincible. <laughs> On the contrary, Cavalier. The boy's weapon protects only him. All others who stay close to him are in terrible danger from evil ones who desire his weapon for themselves. What are you talking about? Lorne's the best thing to come along since... since since we got stuck in this stupid realm, and you know it. Huh? Coward! Look, I say we've got Lorne and the best weapon in the whole realm. And if anybody out there wants to try and take it away, just step right up and give it your best shot. Huh? Uh -oh. Powers of the Twelve Evil Talismans, aid me now! <laughs> yeah. What the? Here comes some more! 
Look out! Don't worry, I'll handle this. Listen, Lorn, give us a head start next time you want to use us for target practice, okay? But I... Dungeon Master was right, Lorn. That weapon is dangerous. If you want to stay with us, you'll have to get rid of it. Yeah. Listen, kid, dump the necklace, okay? Otherwise, if we need any help, we'll remember not to call you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, if you need any help, I'll remember not to know you. Hey, suits me fine, kiddo. Why don't you just run along and try facing the realm on your own? I've been doing just that all my life, Eric, until I got this weapon. It's mine, and I'm keeping it. I don't have to run from anybody anymore, and I don't need anybody either, including you. Is that so? Well, then get lost, pal, and take that lousy piece of costume jewelry with you, all right? Hard on him, weren't you, Eric? Me? Nah. Who needs the little wise guy anyway? Not to mention that jinxed weapon of his. Heesh. Sure, don't worry, Eric. He'll do fine out there all alone. No parents, no friends, not even anybody to talk to. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it is getting kind of dark. You think... You think Lorne will find a place to sleep? I mean, you know, before it gets dark. Who knows? But then, who cares, right, Eric? I think we should camp here for tonight. And, Eric, um, you can go after Lorne and bring him back. Uh, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, well, not that I really care, mind you, but... Well, I guess I might as well go take a look. You know, just in case the creep trips over a dragon or, or falls over his own feet or... I don't get it! Why is Eric going after him? Yeah. Well, he wouldn't admit it in a million years, Bobby, but I think Eric's going after the first real friend he's found in a long, long time. I knew it was you. Sure you did. Look, um, I'm, I'm sorry about, well, I mean, listen, if you want to come back with us, it's okay. Except, uh, what? Except for one minor problem. What's that? I'm totally lost. Oh, that's great. Eric the Explorer, lost in the wilderness. Oh yeah? Well, if I wasn't so great at getting lost, I never would have found you, would I? <laughs> Boy, are you out of shape. Are you kidding? I'm just huffing and puffing to make you feel at home, <gasps> Squirt. Eric, look. All right. Somebody down there has got to know where we are. Come on, let's, let's go. Wait a minute, Eric. There's something you should know about those people. Don't worry, just let me do the talking. Any sign of them yet? No! 
Well, give them another five minutes, and then we'll go look for them. Yeah. They're probably okay. I mean, what kind of trouble could they get into? Where's your warrant? I want to see my lawyer. I want to make a phone call. The wizard had returned with one of his own kind. Wizard? Are you nuts? I'm too smart to be a wizard, and he's too dumb. We just want directions. Why did you come back here, wizard? Wait! Can't you see? They're only boys. Not true, woman. They're wizards pretending to be boys. They have returned to destroy us. Ah! Ah! Did you see that? Hey, now here's a guy who knows how to get around. Sort of. I have come for the talisman. Ah! Ah! Ow! A talisman, boy. But I shall destroy them all. Give me the Stone of Astra. The Stone of Astra? You mean Lorne had it all along? Don't give it to him, Lorne. Don't give it to him. I'm not going to give it to you, and there's nothing you can do to make me. Oh! Oh! Ah! Give it to him, Lorne. Give it to him. But, but I'll be powerless. Yeah! Give him the stone, Lorne, or I'm going to be Roast Cavalier on the Half Shield. Give it to me. Hold it right there, pal. Give me the talisman, and I will release your friends. <laughs> Lord! <laughs> Take it then. It's Dungeon Master. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Spare me, Dungeon Master. I have harmed no one. I merely wanted the Stone of Astra, the Twelfth Talisman. Then take it, Korlok. Have you not searched a lifetime for it? Take it. But be warned, evil will hound you to the end of your life, as it has every possessor of the Twelfth Talisman, including the boy. Take it or break its timeless chain of terror and destroy it. The choice is yours. Fools such as you have no need of the talisman, Korlok. Give it to me. If Venger gets hold of that thing, we're in big trouble. No, Venger. The journey of the Twelfth Talisman has come to an end. You try my patience too often, Dungeon Master. This will be the last time. You heard what Dungeon Master said, Venger. Why don't you just forget about it? Yeah! Insolent fool! Yeah! Whoa! Get behind my shield! Yeah! Yeah! Take the talisman, Korlok. Taste its power. The future you desire so desperately. Yeah! Watch it! Ah! Now, Venger, try your powers against the Twelfth Talisman! With pleasure, old man. <laughs> The first victory of my sad life, Dungeon Master. And my last. No, Korlak. You are wrong. Come, Lorne. We must go. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Caviar. That's cavalier, you little twerp. But you're right. Now they are stuck with you. Could be worse. They could be stuck with you. Could be a lot worse. They could be stuck with both of you. Eh. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't forget, make a hard right two lights past the supermarket. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to admit it, but uh, I think I'm gonna miss that wise guy. What? Not a lot, just, just a little. <laughs> you have made a wise choice, Korlok. I'm not sure I understand, Dungeon Master. All things are possible for those whose hearts are free of evil. <laughs> <laughs>